Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the NECA Predator Series 8 Jungle Extraction Dutch Schaefer. Arnold Schwarzenegger's character from the first Predator film gets immortalized in plastic. And finally, we have someone to fight all those NECA Predator figures on our shelf. Now, since this is an early sample, I don't have the packaging to show off, but the figure will come on a blister card style package when you find him on store shelves. So let's go ahead and dive right in and take a look at this new action figure. The Jungle Extraction Dutch figure is based on the character wearing his full gear, before he got down and dirty with the Predator in the film. NECA has done quite an amazing job with the sculpt and detail on this figure, something that they are well known for. But what I was really geeking out about is that face sculpt. The likeness to Arnie is pretty uncanny. From the haircut to the look in his eyes, he really feels like he just jumped right off the movie screen. There is great detailing in there as well, like the paint that's smeared across his face, and even the beard stubble that's sculpted on. You'll also notice that he has a cigar hanging out of his mouth. Now this is a non-removable part, as it is a part of the sculpt on this particular figure. There are a few other Dutch figures coming out from NECA that won't have this cigar, if that's what you prefer, but come on, you've got to admit that that really adds a new level of badassery. The face isn't the only part of this figure that has great details. NECA really gave great care and attention to every little wrinkle and fold in Dutch's outfit. The paint job also does a great job of making the shirt look realistic. The pants have a wonderfully painted camo deco, and you can even see all of the stitching. Dutch here stands in the 7 inch scale, and one of the things that I really love is that he's in scale with the NECA Predator figures. I mean, just look how Predator towers over him. That is awesome. So let's go ahead and take a look at all of the articulation on this figure. The head is on a joint that allows the head to turn both left and right and has a nice hinge so he can look both up and down for a really wide range of movement. He has ball-like joints at the shoulders there so the arms can move outwards, forwards, and backwards. He has a nice swivel right above the elbow as well as the standard elbow bend. He has ball joints at the wrists so you can see that the hands roll all the way around and they have the ability to twist. The shirt piece that he's wearing is a softer plastic, so although the joints on the torso still work, he's got the nice ab crunch so you can rock the body forward and backward, and you can swivel him at the waist there. The crotch piece is also made of a softer plastic, which is going to allow for a great range of movement in the legs. You've got good ball joints there at the thighs, so the legs can move outwards, really far, forwards and backwards, you can get him in some great sitting poses there. He's got really cool hidden knee joints. Uh, they swivel right above the joint there, so you can move them left and right, side to side. You can also bend at the knee there. And then at the ankle, he's also on a ball joint, so you can see you can roll the foot all the way around. You can swivel it side to side. You can move it forwards and backwards. So there is a really great range of motion all throughout this figure. That's going to allow you to get some really great poses out of this without compromising the sculpt. Now Dutch also comes with a slew of accessories for fighting off those predators. First up is this larger rifle. It's got a great detail and a really nice paint job, and it's also got a softer strap which will allow you to strap the gun over Dutch's shoulder, or, of course, pose him with it either two-handed or even one-handed poses. The right hand on the figure has a finger sculpted for the trigger, while the left hand is molded more open so that he can hold the front end of the gun. If that's not enough for you, he also includes a smaller handgun, a small knife, and even a larger machete knife. Now since his left hand is molded open, he can only hold each of these weapons in his right hand. But what I really like is that he has a place to store every single one of these weapons. You'll see that there are holsters at his waist and on his leg for the handgun and the two knives. And with that strap on the larger rifle, you can sling it right over his shoulder. 
It always bugs me when an action figure has a ton of accessories, but nowhere to put them all. So this here is a huge plus for me. So there you go, guys. There's a look at NECA's new Jungle Extraction Dutch figure. After years of Predator action figures, it's nice to finally get Dutch here to do battle with them. I mean, don't get me wrong, those Predators are cool, but come on! It's Dutch! This figure is fantastic. I'm a big fan of the sculpt on this guy. I love all the details. All of the accessories really make this one a great value. Jungle Extraction Dutch will be hitting stores very soon, so happy hunting, and until next time. Yeah! Get to the chopper! Do it! Do it now! Thank you.